We talked a little bit about swallow again and how you might want to use that, that guarding hand as an assisting hand uh, and, and working on the timing. If you're going to do something, what you don't want to do is wait until, the, until they can regain their composure and react. If I just, if he punches and I block, then I punch, he can just block with the same hand. He can just block with that same hand. So the timing was not good. But if he punches and I, and I attack while he's still extending, it's very difficult for him to abandon what he was doing and retract. And so the same thing is with the swallow and spit, spit hand. If I don't come up with a way to neutralize him, uh, his ability to neutralize me, then he can just always neutralize me and that's no good. We have to come up with a better way to use our tools or timing or both to make sure that we're effective in um, breaching the bridge, right? So come up with different ways of doing that. And again, the classical terminology on that is um, to attack when the old energy is, is dying, but before the new energy is born. So that just means, you know, don't give them a chance to recover.